failure to stop and report at a check station. The rule reads, it is unlawful to fail to stop, with or without fish or wildlife, at any fish and game check station encountered, even if your hunting, fishing, or trapping activity occurred outside of Idaho. There are several reasons for this rule. Enforcement check stations like this are designed to ensure that everybody follows the regulation. Hey guys, did you get, got your deer this evening there? Yep. yep. Excellent. You got your tag handy? It's on the deer? It's on there. Very good. Can I take a look at it? Yeah. Sure. All right. This is the foundation for sustaining our herds and meeting hunter expectations. Management check stations like this one also enforce the regulations, but the main focus is for wildlife biologists to collect data on the harvest. Most of what we do here is really we want to contact, get, make contact with the hunters, figure out what we're looking at, age of animals, sort of what they're seeing so that we have a better understanding of what's out there. Are we managing this population well? This kind of helps us understand that, yeah, we, we collect all this great biological data, but having this extra data with the harvest estimates and talking to hunters, this helps us out a lot, just getting, making good decisions on management. So what do you need to do? Well, by law, they have to, everybody who's been hunting or fishing, whether they have wildlife or fish or not, has to stop. And a lot of times people will drive by uh, excuses from, I'm trying to get home, uh, I'm running late, I was tired. But every once in a while we find the guy that has the untagged elk, the illegal deer, uh, shot a big horn sheep. When the season's closed, he doesn't have a tag. Some pretty big violations, especially at night. People try to sneak by these check stations without stopping.